There can be no middle way in dealing with transgenderism. It is all or nothing. If transgenderism is true, if men really can become women, then it's true for everybody of all ages. If transgenderism is false, as it is, if men really can't become women, as they cannot, then it's false for everybody, too. And if it's false, then we should not indulge it, especially since that indulgence requires taking away the rights and customs of so many people. If it is false, then for the good of society, and especially for the good of the poor people who have fallen prey to this confusion, transgenderism must be eradicated from public life entirely. The whole preposterous ideology. There's Michael Knowles, uh, a talk show host, I suppose. Uh, he has those shows a lot of times with uh, Ted Cruz. So at CPAC, he's talking about getting rid of transgenderism altogether, the eradication of it. And about how he mentioned multiple times, he says, if it's false. And then he inserts his opinion about how it is false. So. The whole basis for this speech is listen to me in my opinion. Don't have your own thought. Again, at a conservative conference where they like to talk about freedom of thought and independent thinking. So he tells you what to think. And then after telling you what to think, he says you need to eradicate transgenderism. How does that happen? I asked it earlier when Donald Trump was declaring things. How is it that you eradicate? Transgenderism. Do you have any ideas? I mean, it's pretty clear. A bunch of people on Twitter were talking about this, you know, being a, a genocidal threat. Uh, and there's all sorts of people analyzing whether or not the term fits and what have you. But the, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, if you don't want them in public life, what's going to happen? Are you going to send them off as outcasts to live on an island? No, it's very clear. Uh, what they want to do with transgender people living in the United States of America. And the point that he makes saying, you know, at any age, uh, if a man can become a woman, that can happen at any age. And the reason he's saying that is because one of their biggest uh, plans as a part of their anti trans agenda is to prevent children from receiving puberty blockers because there's a real scientific transition that happens once you get to a certain age where you go through puberty. And it's very difficult after that point to take hormones uh, and then to you know show that you have more feminine or masculine features and being able to block a person from going through puberty until they're sure they want to transition, uh, that can be very helpful. Because if you have a child go through puberty and then later on try to transition, it can be much more difficult. And so that's the reason he's saying that. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with people living their lives as transgender, but I do think there is something wrong with people saying that their way of life and their traditional values are infringed upon by how other people live their lives. And that's really where we get to the point where people at CPAC and people who are on this extreme right in the United States are descending into fascism. Well, and once people point it out, then the question has to then become, how does this happen? Because again, this is what he said in response, because of course, people came in and pointed out what this is that he's saying. and. Asking what is it that he wants? Actually, they were pointing out what is it he wants. He did respond, he goes, I never said that and I demand a retraction. This is after a Huffington Post employee then wrote, my dispatch from CPAC, Christopher Matthias said, where a crowd just cheered for a speaker who called for trans people to be quote eradicated. The GOP's creepy obsession with kids getting gender affirming care is morphing into explicitly fascist calls for trans folks to be erased is what he pointed out and then linked to his piece there. So the difference now that he's trying to bounce back and forth with is, is I said the eradication of transgenderism, not the eradication of transgender people. So if there's transgender people who you said they're falsely who they say they are, what is it you do to eradicate transgenderism? Is it something inside of them? Did you did you find a did you find a, a, a chip that was inserted when people took the COVID vaccine? What is it? That would allow you to eradicate transgenderism from transgender people. How do you get it out of them? How do you get it away from them? Because you know, also from public life. So if they're in public, what is it that you do about them being here? I think all those people who are bloodthirsty and have already shown that they're willing to attack violently and look to kill folks that they are uncomfortable with will take that and run. But as a matter of fact, Alyssa Cordova, who works with him as well, decided to point out that they're gonna come legally for folks who did this. So she posted, we're demanding full retractions and apologies from Daily Beast, Huff Post, Rolling Stone for their false and libelous claims about Knowles and have referred all of those to our general counsel. So she's showing all the headlines of them talking about his uh, his ideas 
for what to do about transgender folks because he's uncomfortable with him. And who they say they are is different than what he who he says they are. So he has this authority over someone else's life and who they are and who they say they are and how they live. People he may not ever run into, but he's doing this for money. By the way, there's a more going on though because prior to this, he's talked about this before. Watch. That I called to ban transgenderism entirely. I made the point that if you want if you want women to have their own bathrooms, if you think women ought to be able to have their own locker rooms and not have to look at gigantic gross men while little girls are getting changed, if you want any of those things, you have to ban transgenderism entirely. They said that I was calling for the extermination of transgender people. They said I was calling for a genocide against, I said, what? I must have missed that part of my show. When did I, did I say that? I don't, one, I don't know how you could have a genocide of transgender people because genocide refers to genes. It refers to genetics. It refers to biology. And the whole point of transgenderism is that it has nothing to do with biology. Transgender people is not a real ontological category. They're not real people. So what the, what exactly are you concerned about then? If they're not real people, um, we're talking about the origins of the word. I can't, you can't have a genocide. You can have a mass murder. Should we change the way that you're talking about this? Since you haven't specifically talked about how you want to eradicate transgenderism from folks and all that. But he did mention this, uh, Burbank. He said, we can ban it entirely. How do you ban something like this? There's no good answer for it, except for what everyone is saying that he's saying, except he's too much of an effing coward to say it. I think we should put it in terms they can understand. What do you think people on the right in the United States would say if I were to pose something like, we need to get rid of Christianity? It's too often been the case that these people who are Christians are making laws about what women can do with their bodies. It seems demonic. You shouldn't be allowed to do something like that. So we need to eradicate Christianity. I'm not saying, you know, Christian people can't live. I'm just saying they can't go to church, they can't read their Bible, they can't practice Christianity. Religion's not in your genes. So I'm not saying we need to do genocide, but we do need to eradicate Christianity. They would go absolutely nuts. They would say, yeah, what you're talking about is is getting rid of us as a people because Christianity is a part of my identity. It's a part of who I am as a person, which is exactly like people's gender identity. It's not exactly transferable, but it's a part of your identity. And these are terms that I think they can understand. We all have the right of freedom of expression. It's guaranteed in the Bill of Rights in our constitution. People should be allowed to express themselves however they choose, so long as they're not hurting other people. He's clearly posing hurting other people by taking away their right to express themselves. Let's flesh out the, the Christianity uh, thing even further because they always say that you know the gays are spreading their way of life to everyone else. That's actually a big tenet of Christianity. You're supposed to be spreading the good word and try to convert as many people as possible. It's what you're supposed to do to bring more people to the glory of God. That's actually a part of it. So someone could say, hey, we need to eradicate this because it's spreading to people who maybe don't wanna hear it. Or then after they don't wanna hear it, you start targeting them because we do know the way that Christianity has been spread in the past. Just in case you guys forgot that part. But also uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the ability to be able to go after folks like this and think about it this way. You want to make sure it's a battle scenario. This last graphic here, because this happened on Newsmax, and they want to point out what, look at this, uh, the lower third here as they're talking. How we stop the transgender mafia. So if we have to eradicate transgenderism, and there's a transgender mafia somehow, whatever that looks like, there's all these types of terms and pictures in people's heads of this dangerous group that's coming to get you, and you have to fight back before they come and get your children. And the last ironic part is, is just look up a few of priests, youth pastors, big time pastors that have all under the under the umbrella of Christianity have raped and assaulted and destroyed so many children's lives. So if you're worried about lives of children and those folks coming for them from their place of, of power, check out the church. It's happening a lot. And as a matter of fact, real Christians don't want anything to do with those types of folks. It's just the fake ones.